In the world of livestock nutrition, some of the most powerful feed resources don't come from expensive bags. They come from unexpected places. Wet brewer's grains, a byproduct of beer brewing, are one such golden opportunity. Rich in protein and fiber, WBG can dramatically improve dairy productivity. But here's the catch. With 75% to 80% moisture content, WBG spoil rapidly if not stored correctly. So how do you turn this highly perishable product into a reliable, cost-effective feed year-round? The key lies in smart storage solutions, and dairy farmers and feed experts worldwide, including in Sri Lanka, are exploring multiple options to make the most of every grain. Let's dive into the top storage strategies for wet brewers' grains, including practical methods backed by science and experience. Fresh WBG is highly palatable and nutritious, but only for a very short time. In cooler climates, it can stay stable for five to seven days, but in tropical conditions like Sri Lanka, spoilage begins within 48 to 72 hours. Best for dairy farms with high dairy cattle numbers and daily feeding schedules. If not used promptly, mold growth and nutrient loss occur rapidly. To avoid waste, coordinate your feed deliveries and usage schedule tightly. Ensiling WBG is the most recommended and widely used method to preserve it for months. This process involves anaerobic fermentation that locks in nutrients and prevents spoilage. Key steps for effective ensiling include mixing with dry materials, packing and sealing, and allowing fermentation time. Properly ensiled WBG can last four to six months with very little nutritional loss. Dairy farmers on a budget or without access to silage infrastructure can rely on salt or commercial preservatives to extend the life of WBG. For salt treatment, add 2.5% salt on a fresh weight basis to inhibit mold. Salt improves palatability and dry matter intake. For preservatives, products like propionic acid or buffered organic acids applied at 0.15% concentration delay spoilage for two to three weeks. Salt-treated WBG retained better dry matter and protein digestibility during short-term storage. If drying equipment or consistent sun exposure is available, Drying WBG is a valuable solution. Drying options include solar drying, where you spread grains thinly on raised platforms in sunlight, or oven mechanical drying, which is costly but effective, especially in rainy seasons. Dry WBG with less than 10% moisture can be stored for several months in airtight containers. Though it's energy intensive, it's ideal for feed manufacturers and large-scale farms. Regardless of the preservation method, proper infrastructure is crucial for maintaining feed quality. Options include bunker silos with sidewalls and plastic sheeting, heavy-duty silage bags that resist UV damage, and elevated platforms with drainage to avoid moisture buildup. Investing in basic shelter and shade structures can prevent temperature spikes and reduce microbial growth. While not yet widely used for wet feeds, hermetic, airtight storage methods are gaining interest. By cutting off oxygen, spoilage organisms like molds and yeasts cannot thrive. It works best when moisture levels are reduced by partial drying or mixing with dry feed, and air is completely excluded using sealed containers or vacuum bags. Wet brewer's grains are not waste. They are a nutritious, affordable, and sustainable feed resource, but only if you manage their storage smartly. Whether you're a smallholder dairy farmer or a large-scale dairy farmer, choosing the right storage method, fresh use, ensiling, drying, or chemical treatment can turn perishable grains into year-round dairy cattle nutrition. When dairy farmers adopt innovative storage strategies, they not only save money, but also contribute to reducing feed waste and enhancing food security.